Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to a new pick a card reading. Now, this is one that I have been asked to do by so many of you. So I'm very excited. Today, we're going to be looking at what is going on with your special person your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved, if you have been in little to no contact. Okay, so this is by popular demand. I'm so happy that you guys shared with me that you wanted this reading. Thank you so much for your feedback. I want to give you the readings that you really desire. So continue to let me know um, what readings that you want. And I know many of you are in that, you know, that stage, that journey. There may be some struggle. There may be miscommunication between you and your person. There may be, you know, obstacles or disagreements. And you may have had to step back from the connection. You might have some contact off and on. Others of you have no contact. I know that everybody has a different journey. So that is why we're going to go in deep. And what I'm very excited for is that because I have this new Oracle deck that I created, the Divine Timing Oracle, each of your readings are going to give you timing. Okay, so for whichever pile you choose at the end of the reading, stay with me until the end, we are going to look at you know, general guidance from spirit on the timing of when you and your beloved may be coming back together, either reuniting or you may be hearing from them or you may have, you know, a, a, a transition into more communication. So we're going to take a look at what the timing is, because again, that is also by popular demand. Many of you have asked me, can we look at timing? Can you give me an idea of when this reunion or or, um, communication may happen. So make sure you stay with me until the end because each of these readings, we're going to be looking at that. And I have another really exciting announcement. So I know that we have been doing um, uh, affirmations of the day kind of pretty much from the beginning of when I started my channel. And it's just been such a wonderful journey seeing how much you guys love the affirmations and how enthusiastic you have always been to participate. So what I have done is I have put all of the affirmations that I use into a deck for you. And it's called the Twin Flame Union Activation Deck. Now, I created this deck from the energy of these affirmations when you put them into your vibration and you literally live them like you know you really embody these in your life you use these to expand yourself spiritually it is going to activate the love that you want okay so even though it is called twin flame union activation it is also for you don't have to be on a twin flame journey so again that's that's a particular label but this is for anybody who is on the journey to love. So you can be, um, you know, in a twin flame journey, you can be, you know, with a soulmate, you can even be single and wanting to attract love. So this deck will work for whatever situation you're in, because what it does is that it helps you to calibrate your vibration towards attracting the exact love that you want. And that is right for you. So that is why it's about activating the union between you and your person, whether you've already met the person or you haven't met them yet, but you want to bring them into your life. Okay. So what we're going to be doing now, uh, um, and in all of my readings in the futures, I'm going to use this deck to give you your affirmation of the day. And what we're going to do is we're going to get three different affirmations. So depending on um, the pile that you choose, you will have your own affirmation. So you can still participate. Um, and, you know, both of these decks, I just received them. So we are still working on getting them onto all of our platforms. So stay tuned for that. We're still working on, you know, I have to get them photos photographed and you know all the things that go into getting them onto our website as well as my Etsy shop as well as Amazon okay so stay tuned for that I'm going to give you updates as to when these are available on those platforms if you'd like to have them at home so that is really exciting and I just want to thank you all for being so loving so supportive you have always been 
Um, just so fantastic. This entire Live Tarot family, you know how much I love and appreciate you all. And if you're new to this channel, I am Dr. V. I'm so happy to have you here. Make sure that you do hit that subscribe button and join our beautiful family um, because it is my absolute passion and purpose in life to bring you these readings to help you to either unite or reunite with that special person. So, um, and as I always say, when you do join the community as a subscriber, it is a beautiful energetic exchange between me and you. And I just feel that it helps me to give you the best general readings here that I possibly can. But if you'd like to have specific guidance on your journey, right, because everybody's journey is unique, you can have a personal reading with me. And another big announcement I have about that is that I know that things have been, you know, challenging in the world right now. So what I have done is I have made all of my readings much more affordable. Okay. So the investment amounts are much less than they were before because I want to help as many people as I possibly can. I want to support you in every way that I can. So um, the link to that is in the box below, as well as the link to all of the Oracle decks, the ones that are already available that I have created for you. And this one being the newest one, um, I'm going to be using this in all of my future readings for now. So this Twin Flame Shadow and Light Messages is my newest deck that is already available on all the different platforms. All right, so let's get right into your reading reading on if you have little to no contact, what is your person thinking and feeling with timing? Okay, when is this going to start shifting? So here are your um, choices. You can pick one, two, three, or you can pick all of them and take the messages that resonate for you and leave the rest. Make sure that you are gentle with yourself, right? Because this is a general reading, not everything may resonate. So for our beautiful group one, we have growth. So if you'd like to take a moment to close your eyes, meditate, take a deep breath, see which of these piles you feel most intuitively guided to. Okay, for our beautiful group number two, we have abundance. And for our beautiful group number three, we have nourishment. All right, so go ahead and make your selection and we will get started with group number one. My beautiful group number one that chose growth, here is your reading um, on little to no contact. If you are in struggle with your person right now, we're going to take a look at what they are feeling about you in this connection. We're going to take a look at um, specific messages, outcome, and then we are, stay with me to the end because we are going to get you your um, affirmation of the day as well as divine timing. Like when, when is the timing of the shift in your relationship, in your connection? Like when can you expect communication or when can, when can you expect some sort of change in this situation? All right, so I've already pulled some Oracle cards here for you. Let's start with your tarot. So Spirit, for our beautiful group number one, can you tell us what is your person thinking or feeling about you at this time during this time of little to no contact. Okay, how is your person thinking and feeling about you? Wow, we have the tower. Okay. Oh, that is good, actually. You know what? I see that as a really good thing. We have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. What else is your person thinking and feeling? Ah, look at me. I'm terrible, terrible shuffler. I'm not going to pull those. I didn't feel those. Nine of Swords. All right. So, ho oh, ho. Isn't this so fascinating? Wow. Okay. I want you to take a look here at 
the power of even just the placement, okay? Just the placement of these. The fact that we have this beautiful Ace of Cups right in between the Tower and the Nine of Swords. What does this tell us? Woo! What does this tell us, guys? It tells us that your person is really, really missing you, okay? They are in a very, very emotionally turbulent state right now, okay? There's a lot of emotional turmoil that they're going through. They're going through a, a, a huge light bulb moment. And I feel like it's a combination of you not being fully in their life right now. So whatever stage you're in, I feel like the energy is the same. Like the, the fact that you may have pulled away, the fact that you might have less contact or the fact that you may not be contacting them at all at this time has really put them into a state of deep loss, stress, anxiety. I'm feeling that your person is not sleeping very well at this time. I'm also getting an energy of nightmares. I feel like they're experiencing some sort of nightmares or night terrors. And this is something that they hide from the world, as in they don't communicate this to anybody. This is something that they keep as a secret locked inside of them. They do not want anybody to know the level of anxiety, fear, and night terrors that they are going through right now. I'm getting the energy that your person really likes to show themselves that they're very strong out in the world. And that's okay. You know, they like to kind of, and it's not that they're not strong. They are a strong person, but they are human too, right? Like they have their own, you know, things that they have to deal with, but they pride themselves on keeping up this kind of reputation, this persona of I'm a very strong person. I know what I'm doing. I got it going on. Like, you know, I'm good. <laughs> so for them to be having these night terrors, for them to be having these very um, difficult, anxious moments is something that is literally splitting them in half. Like it is really calling upon them to stop and take notice. You know, it, it's, it's making them stop in their tracks because I don't feel that they have experienced this level of emotional anxiety in the past, in other relationships or in other experiences that they've had. So there's something about you and this connection that is making them stop in their tracks. That's making them really kind of rethink, uh, what am I doing here? Is there something here that I am not seeing? This tower is literally coming down around them because it is a huge light bulb moment. It's almost like, you know how sometimes like you don't realize the extent or depth sometimes of the feelings and the connection that you have to somebody until it is taken away, until it is gone, you know? And I feel like your person... They know that they love you, but I don't think they realized the extent of what life would feel like without you. And so it's almost like they feel like this nine of swords is <clears throat> happening to them. And I feel like it's very disconcerting to them. I feel like it's very confusing to them. It's almost like they're asking themselves like, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Okay, what the heck? What the WTF? <laughs> I don't want to say, I don't want to say that word, <laughs> but you know what I mean? WTF what the is going on. Heck, you know, I, this is not me. Like, this is not me. I am like a strong person. I don't have nightmares. I don't have night terrors. I don't have anxiety. Like, what the, what's going on? So they're almost, it it's almost feels like it is happening to them. It is not something that they are creating. It is the, their emotional heart-based response 
to whatever has gone down in this connection. And that is why that tower is coming down big time for your person, because it is opening up realms of self-knowledge. Your person is understanding themselves and their own emotions in a way that they have not up till now. Okay, this is really important. So I'm going to say it again. This separation or this struggle in this relationship is opening up portals of knowledge within your person that they need to open up. It is opening up levels of self-awareness and understanding of who they are, what they want, where they're going in life, what do they need in terms of love, in terms of connection. They're learning those things now at a deeper level than they ever, ever have before. And that is why this Ace of Cups has come in between. This is what I love about the fact that this beautiful emotional opening is coming as a result of these very kind of like, I'm going to break down your walls. Like spirit is breaking down these walls within this person. And what is coming forth, what is coming through from this darker energy is this beautiful light of the Ace of Cups. Isn't this amazing? I mean, what could be more powerful and more beautiful than this? It's like sometimes we need, we need certain walls within us to be broken down in order to see the light. In order to see, oh my God, this is my opportunity. You represent the opportunity for a beautiful new beginning. For me to expand into love in a way that I have never expanded before. And so I feel like in this struggle or separation you're going through, your person is wanting to come towards you to offer you this Ace of Cups. And they want to, to receive it themselves. You know, let's go deeper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this. See? Didn't I say like they want to offer you? Look at this. This is them offering you their hand. Offering you this commitment. Oh my gosh. How beautiful is that? Oh my God. Group one, you guys are sizzling. Wow. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Surrender to success. Oh wow. <gasps> Becoming braver, resilience, experience, growing stronger and fresh perspective. How beautiful. I just could not have asked for a more beautiful reading than this. Wow, look at this. I feel like this Nine of Swords, this energy right here of them kind of experiencing, um, you know, experiencing fear, anxiety, um, the sense of like, oh my God, what is what would life be like without you? I don't want life without you. It's like this whole new experience for them. But what it's doing, and I feel like this tower is also doing the same thing, is to, is to bring them closer towards that internal courage, right? Like, I want to be braver. I want to be stronger. Um, I want to step into that next level of who I am because it's going to require that in order for me to truly commit to this connection. And I feel like, you know, your person, I mean, what could be more clearer than this? Like beautiful, beautiful, right? I feel like whatever this situation has been, whatever this struggle or separation has been, it has been a, it is going to be a stepping stone. It is going to be that phase that needed to be crossed in order to come back into this beautiful new phase, this beautiful new union. But your person needed to go through this process in order to come to this, in order to be able to offer this, um, in order to be able to come to you with an offer of, I am stronger, I am braver, I am more courageous now. I am who I need to be in order to bring this Ace of Cups into fruition.
in order for me to surrender to success. Um, see, you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Beautiful. Your person wants to surrender to this success. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So what we're going to do now, I'm, I'm about to pull cards for your messages, specific messages from them and outcome. So I feel like before I pull those cards, let me give you your affirmation of the day. So if you missed the introduction, this is my new deck. I took all of um, the affirmations that we've done from the beginning of this channel and put them into this Twin Flame Union activation deck. So I wanted to you know, tell you more about that in detail as to what this deck really means. So if you missed that, please go back to the intro where I talk more about what this means, but I'm not going to do that here because I want to continue on with your reading. So this is your affirmation of the day. And if you'd like to participate, all you do is write it in the comment box below and put it into your vibration because it is meant to help you to activate that union that you are seeking or that reunion that you are seeking. And of course, as I pull this, you know, if this resonates with you, please do make sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's absolutely free. You can change your mind later. It means so much to me and it really helps the channel. So please do give this video a like and subscribe. All right. So your affirmation of the day. Oh, I love it. I radiate beauty and grace. I am in a great place. I radiate beauty and grace. I am in a great place place. So go ahead and if you'd like to note that down, put that in your vibration. This is so beautiful. You are beautiful. You are graceful. You are in a state of receiving and allowing this beautiful union or reunion to take place. Beautiful. All right. So let's go ahead and get messages from your higher self. And of course, stay till the end because then we'll be doing timing as well. So what would your person say to you from their higher self? Please do. These are very specific messages, so please do take them as they resonate. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so see, I'm in a superficial relationship with someone else because I'm not ready for real love with you. Okay, so like I said, these are very specific. Take them if they resonate. If not, leave them. So this, I feel, is for some of you who are in some sort of a third party situation where things may not have worked out between the two of you, your person may have moved on. They may be in some other relationship, but see, it is superficial. It's like, it's almost like they're not ready. You know, they're not ready for something real. Um, they need to go through these phases, right? They need to go through this nine of swords, this tower in order to actually come into that next stage that for some, for many of you, they are already there. For some of you, they are still kind of working through this, right? So you kind of have to look at, you know, what stage of this journey you are specifically in. I can't go against my family. I let them have too much control over me. I'm stuck now. Okay. So for some of you, there's something here with this nine of swords, this tower that's going to have to do with family influence, right? It could be third party, but as I always say, third party can be, it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be family too. It can be expectations, obligations, you know, influence from family members. So again, I feel like for some of you who are in these specific scenarios, your person is going to have to go through this tower and this nine of swords in order to come out of it, understanding what this commitment is all about, right? I want to hold you and be held by you again. I want to wake up with you by my side every day. Yeah. See, so it's like, you, you know, they can't it, as much as they may have tried you know, to move on or trying to deny this connection, it's, it's not going to work for them. See, because look at this, they are feeling that they are on the outside. Like it, the, this winter's energy with ego, it's like, there's definitely been something here where their ego has kept them 
you know, frozen out of this deep connection of this, you know, needing to expand into that new level of commitment. So I feel like this is what they are releasing at this time. And that's beautiful because I feel like this nine of swords and this tower is also about realization and then releasing all of that, see, fear, anxiety, and doubt. And as they release that, there's going to be a beautiful releasing of any of the egoic issues that may have come up between the two of you that might be blocking this connection. Um, whether that is that the egos need to be right, um, whether that's that egos need to control, or whether it's even the ego that is holding them on to, you know, these other kind of obstacles. But either way, your person is wanting to come out of this frozen energy because it's a very cold and dark place to be. And so I feel like they are working their way out of that energy in order to come back into this Ace of Cups. So let's take a look at timing now. So Spirit, can you please tell us, this is, again, this is a very general guideline from Spirit about the timing of this situation, okay? Because I, as I always say, timing can change depending also upon your vibration, right? Like, what are your internal blocks? Are you open to allowing and receiving? Are you open to change, right? So as a general guideline from Spirit, Spirit, when can we expect some sort of a change or transition in this connection for our beautiful group one? Look at that September. Interesting. Okay, so what I believe about this is that, of course, change can happen at any time. And I feel that you can accelerate that depending on, again, your vibration, right? But I feel like what Spirit is saying here is that September might be a very ripe time. You know, that if you haven't experienced change between now and September, that coming upon this month, this might be energetically a very beautiful, open month for you to create change together, right? Like this may be the most ripe time to create that change. So keep that in mind. Okay. So let me know what you thought in the comment box below. If you'd like to uh, participate in affirmation of the day, you can write this in the box below or just leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I love you so much. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I used in this reading, everything is linked in the box below. I love you so much. I'll see you all on the next one. My beautiful group two that chose abundance, here is your reading. So we're going to be taking a look at if you have been in minimal to no contact with your special person. We're going to take a look at what they are feeling about you in this connection at this time. We'll get specific messages and outcome. And if you missed the introduction, just to let you know, we're also going to do um timing so we're going to take a look at when the situation could change or when communication can come through and we're also using my both my brand new decks for that and we're going to do your um, affirmation of the day using my new twin flame union activation deck that has all of my um, affirmations that I've done for you since the beginning of this channel all put into one deck and so I have more about what this deck really means, how you can use it in the introduction. So if you'd like to know more, go back to that if you haven't seen it already. Okay, so I already pulled some oracle cards for you, but we're going to start with your tarot. So spirit for our beautiful, beautiful group two, can you please tell us what is your person feeling during this minimal to no contact time? What are they feeling about you and this connection? Two of pen wow, two of pentacles, beautiful. So you know, many people consider that the twin flame card, right? Because of this yin yang energy. So if you were looking for a twin flame confirmation, there is one right there. <laughs> Seven of pentacles. A lot of pentacles energy coming through. What else is your person thinking and feeling? Oh, 
Wow, Ace of Pentacles. This is so beautiful. I'm just loving this. I mean, so far, even with like group one, we're getting these beautiful aces, which I love, love in a uh, minimal to no contact reading because to me, that is the best energy you can get for, you know, energies of uniting and reuniting, right? And wanting to have a fresh start. So first of all, let's take a look at the fact that we have very strong pentacles energy here, right? So what this tells us is that your person's thoughts and feelings about you right now, the good aspect of it is that they are very much grounded in the real, okay? So I like that. We want that because as much as, of course, we always, you know, want to look for cups energy as well in a, in a love reading. I feel like the advantage of pentacles energy coming through is that it tells me that your person is serious, you know, because sometimes, you know, we have those experiences in life where it's like somebody may have some sort of wish fulfillment when it comes to you. They may have some sort of emotions when it comes to you, right? They may have these kind of fantasies, you know, when it comes to you. But if they're not serious about making those emotions, those thoughts, those scenarios that are running in their mind, if they're not serious about making that real, concrete, where it becomes a true commitment, a long lasting relationship, not just something that is fun today and gone tomorrow, right? If they're not serious about that, then what is the point, right? Because we want, at least what I want for all of you, the entire Live Tarot family, all of my beautiful private clients, is for you to have partners who are fully committed to you, if that's what you want from them, of course, if that's what you want from them, right? If you want, you know, commitment, you want long-term love, you want somebody who has your back through thick and thin and is in it to win it with you, then Pentacles energy, baby, is the way to go, <laughs> right? Because to me, it's about the difference between what is serious and what is not, what is grounded in reality. We want somebody for you who considers this relationship to be real, to be grounded in the material world. Um, they want to build a real life with you. You know, they want to be with you every day. They want to be there to support you and vice versa. They want to build something in the world that is tangible. You know, I'm feeling also they like this is about them wanting to stand in front of um, your family, your friends, your community and give that concrete commitment. Ace of Pentacles. This to me is about your person right now, really during this time of struggle or separation, considering what the options are for the future, um, envisioning themselves, making that commitment, working through the challenges, because I feel that with the seven of pentacles energy, it's like they feel that they have already planted seeds for this connection. They feel that they have worked on this connection with you and that whatever challenges you may be facing right now, I'm not getting the energy that your person is willing to give up. They feel that they have already invested a lot into this and they want to see it through. They feel with this, again, seven of pentacles, I'm feeling a very powerful energy of, you know, you, of them kind of saying to you, you and I have poured our heart and soul into this relationship. We have really done a lot. We have invested a lot. We don't want to let this investment go. And that may not sound like the most romantic thing, but I feel like it is in its practicality, in its practical nature, it is actually more valid in the real world. 
right? Like, I feel like this is going to be for you a choice that is based upon the real world, you know? So yes, there's love. Yes, there is connection. But at the same time, what I love about this is that there is a tangibility to it. There is a sense of what is practical, what is real. And that's important too, right? For longevity, right? Like, you know, we can't like build castles in the sky just based on emotion. We have to ground those castles with the foundation of reality. Um, we want our partner to look at the long term. We want our partner to be practical about wanting to build a real life with us. This two of pentacles tells us, tells me that there has been certain things in both of your lives that required a lot of juggling. Okay. Both of you may be coming from some sort of energy of a lot of other responsibilities. For some of you, it may be that you've had past marriages or you might have children from those marriages or those relationships. Um, you might have, um, family obligations. You might have some sort of financial career business obligations I feel like um, there may have been some sort of conflicts or lack of prioritizing or the uh, lack of the ability to prioritize each other because you might have a lot on your plate you might both be juggling a lot of things and that might have been the reason why the relationship has struggled in the real world I'm feeling for some of you there just may not have been time like as in your person is too distracted by other obligations to give you the, the true time and investment that you deserve. And yet at the same time, they don't want to give you up because they feel that they have invested a lot in this relationship as well. But there may be some sort of like very kind of like tug of war, push pull between their other stuff and you. Or it can be from your side as well. It can be from both of your sides where both of you have a certain obligations, certain other priorities that have taken front and center stage and that have made you feel progressively over time distant from one another. But this is why I feel like your person is definitely not wanting to give up what they have with you. Okay. Even if there has been distance created again, they feel that they have invested way too much of their heart, their love, um, their time, their energy. So what they would rather have is to start fresh with you. But again, in a tangible way, like they feel like the solution to this struggle or this problem or this separation is going to be to bring your two lives back together in a tangible way. Okay. See, rock bottom. Finances increase. See, there's something here. with This is the two of pentacles energy, right? There's something here that has been distracting. Surrender defensiveness. Interesting. And you are rare and free. There are not many like you. Because see, again, this is, this is why I feel that Regardless of what these issues have been, your person sees you as an extremely unique and rare love, a unique and rare diamond, gold. I feel like they, they think they feel that you have a heart of gold. You are literally treasure in their life. You are rare. You are unique. They have never met somebody like you. And that is why they don't want to give you up. Okay. They don't want to let this go regardless of what these issues have been. So they are right now in this struggle or separation, experiencing an energy of rock bottom. Like they, they feel very much like they are hitting rock bottom emotionally without you or even emotionally in the, in the, pondering a life without you because for some of you I'm feeling like you kind of are in that in that assessment stage again seven of pentacles also very much the energy of assessment so I feel like for many of you you guys are contemplating whether you should stay together or whether you should break up okay that's not for everybody but I feel like a lot of you are in that phase where you are trying to come to a final decision like okay should we just have a clean break and let it be over or should we try for this Ace of Pentacles? Should we recommit to this and try to do things differently? But either way, your person is feeling like they are at a very low, low place emotionally. Because it's almost like sometimes they 
They feel like it's so hard to find a solution to this, but at the same time, they don't want to let go either. So like doing that clean break, letting go is going to put them in a very, very bad place. It's going to make them feel emotionally done because there's a lot of love, a lot of connection, a lot of, you know, attachment to you emotionally. But see, this this to me is a further explanation of what is going on with that Two of Pentacles energy, right? There's something here. It could be financial. It could be career. It could be, you know, there's something here um, that has been a juggle, okay, in the material world. And that's why I'm not surprised. Like, we've gotten all Pentacles energy here. So whatever these blocks or issues are, they're very much about things that are concrete, that are going on in your material lives. And I feel like um, one of the reasons why you guys may have been struggling through this is because of these issues. Some I feel like you or they may have, or both of you may have kind of brought this to light by saying, hey, you know, this is not working for me. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting what I want and need from this relationship. And that may have caused your person or you both to become very defensive. You know, your person may have been like, you know, there's like an egoic pushback, right? They may have pushed back from their ego saying, well, you know, no, that's not, that's not right. Like that, that's not true. No, like, you know, like I, I'm not like, I haven't put you on the back burner. Like that's unfair. You know, don't you see that I'm going through all of these things? I feel like your person or you have, may have become defensive. Like, Hey, you know, don't you see that I have all these things going on in my finances, my career, my kids, my job, my family, like, you know, you know, you see what I've been going through, right? Like, why can't you understand that? Like, you know, like, you know, I'm trying to give you everything I can. I'm trying to do everything I can to make you happy. And yet still, I feel like, you know, like, don't you get it? Like, there's a little bit of this defensiveness that I feel has caused a greater rift that does need to be healed here. Okay. So I feel like your person does see that they've been defensive, and you probably see that you may have become defensive, but that, that with this Ace of Pentacles energy, it's like, it's like you're going to have to get through that. You're going to have to somehow manage that defensive energy and maybe like let it go in order to have that Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so before I pull cards for um, specific messages from them and outcome, let's do your affirmation of the day. So this again is coming from the right twin flame union activation deck let's take a look at if you'd like to participate you can write the affirmation in the comment box below with your comment and you want to put this affirmation into your vibration live it embody it it's going to help you to manifest right everything that you want so for our beautiful group two this is your affirmation of the day I am unstoppable. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. I am unstoppable. All right. So let's take a look at specific messages. What would your person say to you from their higher self? And please do take these as they resonate because they are quite specific. What would your person say to you? And let's take a look at outcome and stay tuned because we are going to end with timing. What is the possible outcome here? Beautiful. Wow, lovely, lovely. I'm settling for the life I thought I wanted, but it's empty without you. I still fantasize about you. So see, this is where I feel like for some of you, whatever has this rift has been for some of you, your person, and you may have decided, you know, for now, let's just, you know, call it a day. Like it's not working, you know, but your person, if that's you, your person is definitely feeling like they settled for less and it, they're feeling very empty, very, very empty without you. Okay. Yeah. 
I am not surprised. I need to be alone for now. I need to make sense of my intense feelings. I don't want to feel this way. Okay, so again, I feel like for those of you who, you know, are in struggle or separation at this time, trying to figure out what is the next move, your person is definitely going through that process, right? And I feel like Again, the reason why there are such intense feelings at this time is because of this two of pentacles, right? Like it's like this, this energy of like, this is real life. I want this relationship to be real. I want to work this out. We've put so much into this to let it go. Like, I don't want that. And so right now, I feel like your person, for many of you, they are kind of taking this energy, this time to be alone, to make sense of how to make this work you know, but it's a very intense struggle. It's a very intense feeling. I didn't realize what I had with you until it was too late. Have you moved on or do I still have a chance with you? Yeah, see? So again, I feel like this is the thing. It's like, you know, they want this new beginning. They want to figure this out. And Part of it is that realization that comes from that separation. Because look, I feel like they are realizing, even whether it is just minimal contact or no contact, either way, they are realizing how much they appreciate you. You are their soulmate. You are their person. It's so clear. They deeply appreciate what they have built with you through the Seven of Pentacles. Everything that you've put into this relationship, they appreciate. They appreciate the process. They appreciate the investment. They appreciate at that very tangible, grounded level that, hey, this is real. What we have given to this, the seeds that we have planted, we deserve for them to grow into something beautiful. You are their soulmate. They know this. And that is why we're getting this beautiful energy of movement. I love this. Okay. So when we get this energy of movement, which this is very much like the chariots energy, I'm loving that because it shows us that your person is very motivated, inspired to move forward towards this ace of pentacles. Like they're not going to take this sitting down anymore not, or not for long. Okay. They just feel that you guys have given too much to this to not to not come up with your next chapter, to not move towards, move towards the next chapter, the new beginning. Really beautiful. Love this. So for our beautiful group two, can you give us spirit, a general timeline? Okay. So as I always say with this divine timing Oracle, what this does is that it gives you a time of like where things may shift, where changes may come in for you, but they can come in at any time as well, right? Depending on your vibration, your blocks, your internal state, right? So just take this as a guideline. So for our beautiful group two, when can they expect a shift in this connection? What is the timing here? Can you give us a general timing? Interesting. October. Okay, so I know this may seem like a long ways away, <laughs> but again, what I feel is that you can have a shift. It can happen anytime vibrationally, right? Energies change, vibrations change. So I feel that, that the timing is between now and October. Although I do feel that what Spirit is saying here by being specific about October is that this may be the time where you are most ripe for that change energetically, right? So anything can happen between now and October, but October may be a very special moment. It may be a time of a very deep transformation, very deep ripening of these energies between the two of you. So expect some sort of change, some sort of shift between now and October. All right, so if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, the link to that is in the box below. This is your affirmation of the day. I am unstoppable. If you'd like to put that in the box below, if you'd like to order any of the Oracle decks that I have created for you, all of the links are in the box below. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and being here. I love you so much. I'll see you all on the next one.
my beautiful group three who chose nourishment here is your reading so uh, we're going to be taking a look at your person's thoughts and feelings about you in this connection if you've had minimal to no contact um, and if you missed the introduction, we are also going to be doing your affirmation of the day and stay with me until the end because we're also going to be giving you timing as to when to expect some sort of shift or change um, in the situation. So let's take a look here. I've already pulled some oracle cards, but let's start with your tarot. So for our beautiful group three... Can you please tell us, Spirit, what is your person feeling about you and this connection? And we're also going to take a look at specific messages and outcome. What are they feeling about you? The Hanged Man. The King of Wands. Interesting. Four of Swords. Wow. Okay, so we have some <laughs> very interesting energies coming through here. And it's interesting because the first, first kind of thought that I'm getting from your person is that there's this sense of right now them thinking why couldn't I be the person that I wanted to be for you it's interesting there's a sense of self um criticism you know like critic like I'm getting this energy of them criticizing themselves of them wishing that they were more than who they are. It's a very interesting energy. You know, it's this energy of feeling like you have let somebody down, but you've also let yourself down. I feel like right now your person is definitely in a mode of withdrawal with this Four of Swords. And also look at the placement, okay? This is very significant. We have this King of Wands energy coming through as the center card between the hanged man and that four of swords. So what does that tell us? And I, I find that to be very, very powerful because these are energies of lack of action. And this is the energy of somebody who has mastered action. So see what I mean? Like look at look at the the kind of like very opposing energies going on here. And this is why I feel very strongly that your person right now is kicking themselves. It's like they are in a mode of thought and emotions around the idea of why are they not more than they why are they not living up to like more than what they are right now why are they not living up to who they really wish to be and what they want to do in the world and i feel like it's it's about you and it's also about what's going on in their overall life i feel like deep down your person very much wants to be in this king of wands energy now of course you know, this is an energy, so I'm not attaching an actual, you know, gender to it. But it is definitely, I mean, you can see it as a divine masculine energy because it is a king instead of a, a queen, right? So um, if you are a feminine watching for your masculine, I feel like, you know, this divine, this is a divine masculine energy. And I feel like your person, um, and, and, and it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter. This is an energy, so it doesn't have to be a man or a woman. But I do feel that your person's desire is to step into this King of Wands energy. As in your person has a vision of what they wish to be, both with you as well as to the world. And there is a, a deep desire that they have to be somebody who is seen as a King of Wands energy, as in seen as, as somebody who is successful 
who is passionate, who is an action taker, who is bold, who is fearless, right? So I feel like this is who they wish to be. But right now they're in a very kind of bad place because they feel that they're not fulfilling this potential. And I feel like there's a little bit of a self-pitying energy, which is okay. I mean, we all go through, you know, phases where we do feel sorry for ourselves. It's okay. But we kind of have to get ourselves out of that. And that is why I feel like with this four of swords, it's like your person has kind of taken some opportunity to be more introspective, to kind of maybe be a little bit of a hermit mode, a little bit of a withdrawal mode, because there's a sense of feeling sorry for themselves for not getting the results that they want but also kind of self-flagellating as in like, you know, putting, you know, putting themselves down for not um, living up to their own expectations of who they wish to be. But they definitely have so certain types of blocks to this King of Wands energy. I feel like there are certain things that they know they realize from taking this time for introspection with this Four of Swords, that they realize that maybe they've made certain mistakes, um, that they haven't worked through certain, um, you know, of their own kind of limiting beliefs or mindsets or blocks that have not let them really step into who they wish to be. But what I find very positive about this is that they have this vision, right? Like that this King of Wands really represents to them the potential of who they could be and who they wish to be. And that is a very good, bold agenda to have, right? Like it's almost like they have high standards for themselves. And that's a good thing. They want to achieve something in the world. They want to be someone in the world. They have standards for who they want to show up as. And that is always a good thing. There's an ambition that is in this energy. There's an ambition to be more, do more, achieve more. But somewhere along the line, they have come up short and they feel that they have come up short in their, you know, I feel like in their career and in their finances. And I feel like they also feel that they have come up short with you. And possibly one of the reasons may be that they were very distracted by that. They may have been very distracted by what they felt that they wanted to achieve in the world. And that might have distracted them from what they wanted to give to you. And that might be, for some of you, one of the reasons why there has been some sort of a, a struggle or a separation in this connection. And right now, they're definitely in this hanged man's energy, as in they are seeking answers. Um, they may have gone silent or they may be in like a very static mode, like they're hanging between two worlds. They're hanging between the world of their tangible reality, like what is going on truly, the real versus what it is they wish to achieve, the potential. And they're kind of hanging between those two, the real and what is imagined in their mind of what they want, right? And I feel like part of the hanging man's energy is that moment of stillness where you are seeking enlightenment, seeking answers so that you can stop the suspension of belief, like, you know, like the suspension of reality, right? Like they're suspending their, they're trying to suspend their reality right now so they can figure out which way, which direction to go, what decisions need to be made, how to step into this King of Wands energy and be more decisive because the King of Wands is very decisive and the hanged man is indecisive, <laughs> right? The hanged man is suspended waiting for answers. Um, and your person, I, I, I am what I love, what I like about this though, is that this King of Wands energy is a very good counterbalance to that hangman's energy because it shows us that your person doesn't wish to be like this for long. Okay. They, this is not a state of being that they enjoy or are comfortable in. This is a mode of discomfort for your person. They want to be in this King of Wands and they want to be the decisive action taker. They don't really feel comfortable being a hanged man. So they're going to come out of this, but what they are seeking is answers. Okay. And it may feel very heavy because of this hanged man and this war of swords. I feel like this, these two are energies that they don't like being in. The, these are phases of life, um, um, 
modes of existence right now that make them uncomfortable, but they have had to kind of put upon themselves to seek and find the path back to this King of Wands. Yeah, see, come together. See, beautiful. And that to me is also seeking the path back to you to come together with you. And that's a confirmation of that. See, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Mm -hmm. Surrender comparisons with other people. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I feel like that's this energy as well. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And goes very well with this control issues and uncertainty. Choose who you will become. Wow. <laughs> See, exactly as I said. See, so we're seeing here already this energy of, you know, wanting to come back together with you. Okay, wanting to have this connection, but I feel like it's coming from and it's coming with the desire to be more in the flow of this. Because if you look at this energy right here, do you see how like these two adorable giraffes, they're totally just in the moment, you know, like they're just flowing. They're just chilling together. You know, they're chillaxing together. There's a sense of ease. There's a sense of comfort, right? There's no sense of like struggle. There's no sense of I'm in my head. I'm over thinking things. I'm over, you know, overdoing things that are not working for me. Like, you know, I'm just, you know, trying to control the situation too much. I'm comparing, you know, our relationship to other people's relationships, or I'm comparing my lack of success in what I want to other people who have more money, more success, more this, more that. So I feel like it's the layers of the complications that your person has been putting on themselves that are starting to unfold. They're starting to understand that they have to layer those things back because it's literally layers upon an onion like that those layers are complicating the situation when you can actually just let things unfold see let go of control issues allow things to unfold naturally and I feel like this is a good thing for your person I feel like they probably needed this time to understand that they may have been coming at this connection with you and as well as other things in their life with too much of a sense of things must be this way. Like I have to have it this way and that way and this way and that way. And and I, I feel like I come short when I compare with others, see? So because when we get people in these energies, these are energies of complications that we are, that we add to our lives that are often unnecessary, right? Because we are so attached to the way things should be, like in our mind, like how we see that things should be. And I feel like your person kind of has that issue with a lot of things in their life. They compare themselves um, financially, success wife wise, um, relationship wise. Like, you know, there's a lot of comparison that goes on in their mind mind and they want to come out on top. They want to be seen as this king of wands, as in they want to be seen as this incredibly successful person. Like, look at me. I am successful in money, in career, in relationship. I have this amazing soulmate, you know, you as in like they want, they want to create this sense of look at me. I am successful in everything. I have love. I have money. I have success. I have, Ooh, I have this, I have that, like, you know, it's like this, you know, Know, this beautiful like I mean it's a good vision we all want that right we all want to feel like yeah you know we got it going on you know we have this beautiful person in our life and we have money and we have success and we have this like so I feel like they want it all but the problem that they kind of face is that sometimes they try to control it too much they try to control the narrative too much and that is where your person is learning through this four of set swords and hangman process to let go to let go that let things come about the way they are do not compare yourself with other people because everybody's journey is different let things come together naturally and choose who you will become, right? See, it's the uncertainty that is also difficult for your person. Because again, something has happened here that has made things very uncertain. There's a lot of pressure 
I'm feeling in this connection. A lot of pressure between the two of you and a lot of pressure that your person is putting upon themselves. So now is the time where this hangman's energy, the sense of like enlightenment, I am seeking answers, I am defining who I am, that is coming into play. And they want to define themselves here with that king of, king of wands energy, right? That is how they want to define themselves. But I feel like there's a lot of pressure to do that. And one of the things that they are learning here is to de pressure to kind of let loose, let things just come together naturally, stop the control. This is their greatest lesson. And I feel like they are on their way to that. And as they do that, things are going to get better between the two of you because you will feel the pressure start to release, right? Okay, so before I pull cards for your specific messages and your outcome, let me give you your affirmation of the day using my brand new deck. Now, it's called the Twin Flame Union Activation Deck, and there's a reason why it's called this, and there's a reason behind like what this deck is going to do for you. So if you'd like more information on that, please do go back to the introduction where I talk more about what this deck really means. So for now, we are going to use it to get your affirmation of the day. And if you'd like to participate, you go ahead and put that in the comment box with your comment and make sure that you put the affirmation into your vibration and live it, embody it. I give myself space to learn and grow. Isn't that beautiful? I give myself space to learn and grow. Okay, that's your affirmation. Let's go ahead and pull specific messages and outcome and then stay with me to the end because we're going to get you timing as well. Interesting. Yeah, these these correlate. These correlate very well to what we've been seeing throughout this reading. Give us some outcome spirit. Outcome for our beautiful group 3. Wow, interesting. Okay, I'm mad at myself for behaving this way. I can't control my fear of getting my heart broken again. Okay, so again, this is why I feel like there's something that has happened with this behavior and we've seen it, right? Control issues, comparisons, um, being very resistant, um, you know, being very upset over things not going the way they want them to go between you as well as in their life. Okay, so they may have behaved in a certain way because of that and that might have contributed to your separation or struggle at this time. Know your worth. I didn't believe in myself or in you. I let my low self-worth ruin our love. I want us to heal together. See, again, I feel like this is where this comes from. You know, when you put so much pressure on yourself to control the conditions, right? To have a certain persona or to step into a certain thing. I mean, it can be a really good goal to have, but you don't want it to become toxic, right? You don't want it to become something negative because you are so attached to it from ego, from pride, from, you know, wanting certain things that you can't kind of go with the flow of where life is taking you, right? So this is the lesson that your person is really needing to learn and is learning at this time. And it definitely comes from issues of low self-worth, right? Like if they feel that they have to control, they're constantly comparing, they want to, to show a certain king of wands energy to the world. Definitely you have to work on your self-worth. You know, what, what is it in you that doesn't feel like you're worthy enough? Why are you striving so hard, right? It's too scary to admit that I'm in love with you. I've never felt love this deeply before. Do you feel the same way? Yeah. So again, I feel like this is where it's like this love has hit them very, very hard. And I do feel that their behavior I feel like they are coming out of this. And that's why I'm interested in seeing what the timing is going to be on this, because I do feel that these are heavier energies they are working their way out of. 
And, you know, it may take a little bit more effort on their part because, see, I do feel that they, they feel like they have destroyed this relationship with you. They feel like they have been destructive because of these control and comparison issues, because of their need to be, you know, this, this king of wands, but in a more, you know, in some of their more negative tendencies. And so this is why there is a pause. There is a pause in this connection. Your person feels that they may have like really ruined things between the two of you. And if they have some sort of self-worth issues, they may not even feel the confidence to actually ask you whether you would consider being with them again. For some of you, again, take this as it resonates. For some of you, it just may have been too much. Like their behavior may have been too destructive and now they feel like they've burned the bridges. So this is why we're getting a pause here. Um, but this pause is also the pause before action, okay? So I do feel that there will be action that takes place here. Let's take a look at the timing because in the meantime, right now, I just feel like your person feels that they have destroyed this. Like they're feeling really, really bad, right? They feel that they've maybe gone too far, done too much damage to come back, right? But look, they feel very, very connected to you still in the 5D. There's a very deep soul connection here. So it's like they have not lost this connection. They still feel deeply, deeply in love with you, deeply connected to you. But I do feel that right now they may have the lack of confidence um, to come back from something that they feel that they have destroyed. So that's why we want to know what is going on with the timing spirit. And this deck I really use as a guide, okay, because I feel like vibrations and energies are always fluid. A lot depends on where you are, your internal blocks, right? So use this as a general guide. So Spirit, can you please tell us when could this possibly shift for our beautiful group three? When can there be a change in this situation? Wow. Ten months interesting okay so what i feel here and see i'm not surprised because look at this if you look at this entire reading we're still getting for outcome see we're still getting these energies okay so this is why i'm not surprised that we got 10 months because to me there's definitely something that needs to be worked through here this reading definitely has your person in some of these more denser more like heavier energies to work through i mean with the four of swords and the hangman with destruction and pause you know we have to be honest with what spirit is trying to say here so what i see this as is that you could have a change, a shift in this relationship anytime between now and 10 months, okay? So it's going to depend on where you are, what you want, where your person is. Are they working through this? Where are you? The, where are the two of you, right? What is it that you both truly want? Have you decided, like, look at this, choose who you will become. Have you decided who you will become, who do you wish to be individually and together? So I see this as you could experience a change between now and 10 months, but 10 months may be the most fruitful time. Like that might be the ripening moment. Like that might be the time in which you are the most kind of energetically fertile for a major shift. Although there can be smaller shifts that happen along the way. Okay, so take it as that. So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I've created for you, all of the links are in the box below. This is, again, your affirmation of the day. If you'd like to put that with your comment. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing, liking, and sharing. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you all on the next one.